What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can file share on Linux to a Windows PC using Samba. Essentially, when you share a file on Windows, it uses the SMB protocol and you can connect your PC over the local network, retrieve files, etc. as you would a removable drive, for example. It's actually super simple. Right click properties, share a folder and on another computer, you can add it in the network section. But in order to share a file from Linux to Windows, the process is similar, but a little bit different. So let's begin. First, we'll open a console and make sure that our system is up to date. So I'll run sudo pacman syu to update my whole system. But of course, for you on say Ubuntu or something like that, it may be sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. Once you've updated your system, we need to go ahead and install Samba. It's actually super easy. All we need to do is use our package manager. In my case, pacman, so sudo pacman hyphen s, and we're searching for Samba. For you, it may be sudo apt to get, install Samba, or something like that. Simply hit enter, confirm, and wait for it to install. That's it. Now we're set up and ready to start file sharing. First of all, let's make a directory that we can share or pick one. I'll open up my file manager, which is Dolphin, and I'll find a folder I want to share. Say here and a folder called shared. Inside of this shared folder, I'll create a new text document and it'll just say hello. Now we've created a SOMP file here. Let's share this folder so we can access it on other computers. First of all, copy the full path to the folder that you're in, either at the very top or open a terminal in the window, etc. You just need to find out where the folder you created is located. Now what we need to do is edit the configuration file. So we'll sudo nano or envim, whatever you're using, slash etsy slash samba slash smp.conf. If you find that this file doesn't exist, which by default on Arch Linux it won't, you'll need to get the default configuration, which you can find linked in the description down below. Essentially, I went to the Samba Arch Linux page here, then simply looked here where it says you'll need to download the default from the Samba Git repository. When you click this, it'll take you across to the sample file. I'll control A and control C to copy everything. Then inside of our text editor, I'll simply paste it in with control shift and V. Now that we have a default configuration file here, we'll essentially go all the way down to the bottom and we'll create a new shared folder entry. So we'll insert inside of two square brackets the name of the folder. In this case, I'll simply call it shared. Then we'll say path equals followed by the path to the file, which in my case was mount atlas shared. Then on the next line, writable equals either yes or no if you'd like to give write access to people over the network. Otherwise, you could use something like read only equals yes to only allow people over the network to read. I'll be setting this to no, however. Then if you'd like people to access this file without putting in a username and password, you can use guest OK equals yes or no. In my case, I'll use no. Then if you've chosen no to guest users, enter valid users equals followed by a username that you want people to access this file with. I'll simply enter my current username, techno. Then finally, browsable equals yes. Now we can go ahead and save this file and close it. Now that we've told our system that we want a username and password to access this shared file, we need to make sure that we actually set a password. So we'll run sudo smb password, which is smb pass wd space hyphen a your username and hit enter. Now we'll enter our password here. And what we have, we've now set a password for this Samba user. All we need to do now is sudo systemctl enable smb and this should start it up and enable the service. So we'll also run sudo systemctl start smb and now checking it once more, it should actually be running. At this point, if you see any errors, you can look through them and find out exactly what's wrong with them. In this case, it's telling me it's not able to open a log file in here, so I'll simply make sure that this folder actually exists. So we'll ls it and it doesn't exist. Neither does this folder, but this one does. So we'll make directory samba or sudo make directory samba and sudo make directory the one that was missing. Now, if we restart the service using sudo systemctl restart smb and check the status once more, 
status SMB, it should tell us that it's working properly, which it seems to be. Cool. Now you're pretty much done. You should be able to access your files on a different computer on the same network, as long as your firewall allows it. If you're using something like UFW, which I'm not, you'd need to run something like sudo UFW allow Samba and hit enter. That's it. You've now allowed access to Samba through the local network. All you need to do now is find out your local IP. You can just type in IP ADDR, hit enter, and you'll get your different IP addresses for the way that you're connected to the internet. WLAN is usually Wi-Fi, ENP is usually Ethernet, and you can see my local IP address here is 192.168.150. So if I go on a different PC on the network in the file browser to two forward slashes, this address slash shared, we should now have access to this folder and this file over here. That's it. It's that simple. In the future, if you'd like to add new folders or edit your existing one, simply open up the config, sudo nano or envim, whatever it is, etsy samba smb conf, jump to the very end and adjust your shares as necessary. And once you've adjusted your config, run sudo smb control smb d reload hyphen config, hit enter, enter your password, and now samba will be refreshed. Also, just a quick note, inside of the same configuration file, if we simply scroll down, to around line 133, you'll see homes is shared here and it shares your home directories by default. If you don't want these appearing in browsers when they connect to your system, before each of these lines here, we'll want to add a hash sign as such. The same goes for further down, you'll see that we're sharing printers too, and you can control which user accounts are able to print using printers connected to your system. Besides that, there's not too much enabled by default, and it's only really our custom folders here. That's it. So saving our file, reloading changes, the home directory is no longer shared by default. Sweet. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. So hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.